Hello students, welcome back to our channel Puttik Online. So in this video, we will be going to discuss on few important MCQs on CUET PG Food Engineering and Technology and the topic today will be Food Chemistry and Nutrition. So without wasting much time, let us proceed. And yes, before starting, let me tell you once that Foodtech Online has launched an ebook for CUET PG Food Engineering and Technology. So, this ebook will cover all the four sections those are food chemistry and nutrition, food microbiology, food products and technology, and food engineering. Actually, it will cover your all syllabus in a precise manner, and link is given in the description box for you. And yes, uh, if you want to practice more questions of CUET PG Food Engineering and Technology subject, then you can install our app. The link is given in the description box. Actually, in this uh, app, you'll get a section that is CUET PG. And if you are preparing for other food related exams like FCI or Food Analyst or FSO examination or GATE 2025 examination, their sections are also there. For which examination you are preparing, you can uh, click on that section and you can practice more questions over there so now let us start now question number one the generic name of polysaccharide is so options are glucans glycogens glycans and pentosans so over here the correct answer is option number c that is glycans so we know the generic name of the polysaccharide it is also known as glycans and what is polysaccharides polysaccharides are actually the large molecules which are made up of smaller units of monosaccharides and we sometimes refer this uh, polysaccharides as glycans so over here the correct answer is option number c that is glycan question number two the carbohydrates present in meat are options are glucose and lactose, glucose and glycogens, galactose and glycogens and lactose and glucose. So over here the correct option will be option B that is glucose and glycogens. So we know the so main source of carbohydrate in animal body is its liver. So which contains about half of its total carbohydrate which is present in the body. So they store this in the form. So they store this actually carbohydrates in the form of glycogens mainly in the liver and the muscles. While the glucose, they store glucose are actually found in the blood and other carbohydrates that are given that is lactose, galactose, uh, these are not typically found in the meat. So over here the most correct answer will be option B that is glucose and glycogens. So question number three, major sugar component in honey is options are dextrose and glucose, labulose and sucrose. So over here the correct answer will be option B that is glucose. So the major sugar component which is present in honey are glucose and fructose. These are two major components which is present in honey. And honey it is, a com it is actually a concentrated carbohydrate solution which contains a mixture of simple as well as a complex sugar. And the two main sugar which are present in the uh, glucose honey is fructose and glucose. So over here the correct option will be that is glucose. So question number four, due to dash of starch, the extrusion process requires less torque and mechanical energy. So options are gelatinization, retrogradation, hydrolysis and dextrinization. So over here, the correct option will be A, that is gelatinization. So the extrusion process which requires less torque and mechanical energy due to gelatinization of starch. So we know that gelatinization, actually it is a process in which the starch grind they absorb water and they swell up and they actually disturb the crystalline structure of the starch. So over here my correct answer will be option number A that is gelatinization. So question number 5. What is sometimes called animal starch? So options are amylose, amylopectins, glycogen and saponins. So over here my correct answer will be C that is glycogen. So, uh, glycogen is sometimes called animal starch. Actually, uh, it is a multi-branched polysaccharides of glucose unit that serve as a form of energy source in the animal. So, my correct option will be C that is glycogen. Question number 6. Which of the following is a dietary fiber? So, options are insulin, inulin, elastin and gelatin. So, over here my correct option will be B that is inulin. 
So inulin, it is a type of a dietary fiber which is basically found in uh, various plants. So this inulin actually it has various health benefits also. It can improve our digestive health. It can uh, help in our controlling the diabetes. It help, it aids in the weight losses. And whereas this insulin, elastin and gelatin, these are not the examples of dietary fiber. So option number B is correct. So question number 7, carbohydrates in muscle is present in the form of options are collagen, amylose, amylopectins and glycogen. So over here my correct option is D that is glycogen. So the we know that glycogen actually it is a primary storage form of carbohydrates and it is mainly found in our liver and in the skeletal muscles. So when we need this energy what will happen uh, our body it can break down this stored uh, glycogen and what it will break down into actually glucose units and then our cell it can take this and provide us the energy whereas over here collagen amylose and amylopectins these are not found in our body uh, muscles so over here my correct option will be d that is glycogen next question number eight so which class of food additive are used to control the moisture level in food? So options are humectants, anti-caking agents, improvers and sequestrants. So over here my correct option is A that is humectants. So we know that humectants are the class of food preservatives that are used to control the moisture level in some of the foods. Even we know that humectants they help to retain the moisture level and even they prevent food from drying out. So here my correct option is option number A that is humectant. So question number 9. Certain chemicals like DASH have been found to increase the sensitivity of the microbes to radiation. So options are nitrite, nitrate, potassium and ascorbate. Over here my correct answer is B that is nitrite. So nitrites have been found to increase the sensitivity of the microbes to radiation. This is actually because when the nitrites these are exposed to the radiation they can produce certain reactive species and that can cause damage to cellular components such as as the DNA. So this makes the microbe more susceptible to damage the effects of the radiation. So over here the correct option is B that is nitrite. So question number 10. Chilling agents also stabilize to ferment the malt and beverages by complexing with options are iron, copper, zinc and aluminium. So over here my correct option is A that is iron. So chelating agents which are used in the food and beverage industries for the application to complex with the metal ions such as iron. So this complexing actions actually they help to stabilize the product by preventing the metal ions by catalyzing them from the undesirable reactions such as the oxidation reactions reactions so what will happen this uh, which will help to uh, which can lead to preserve them from the degradation of the product and in the case we can say that in the fermentation of malt and beverages it can help to preserve the flavor and color of the product so over here my correct option is a that is iron so question number 11 Dash is additive which is used to retain the texture of the canned fruits and vegetables. So options are improvers, stabilizers, firming agents, etc. So my correct option is C that is firming agents. So uh, firming agents actually these are the substances which are added to precipitate the residue of the pectins. So thus they can strengthen and support the tissues and prevent it collapse during the processing. So over here my correct option is C that is firming agent. Next question number 12. So which of the following synthetic resin is used as a clarifying agent? So options are bentonite, polyamide, gelating and all of the options. So over here my correct option is B that is polyamide. So polyamides are the type of the synthetic resins that can be used as a clarifying agent. So what are clarifying agents? These are the additives that can enhance the physical, mechanical as well as optical properties of the polymers. So over here my correct option is B that is polyamide. Amides. Next question number 13. Which of the following are natural emulsifiers? So options are lecithins, mono and diglycerides of fatty acids, bile acids and all of the above. So over here my correct option is D that is all of the above. Since we know that lecithin these are the natural emulsifiers which are found in 
egg yolk and uh, the soya beans whereas mono and diglycerides of fatty acids so these are the types of uh, fats that acts as an emulsifiers and they are mainly produced from the glycerols and natural fatty acids so they are also often used in the food products next the bile acids so bile acids these are also the natural emulsifiers the, which are mainly found in the livers and are stored in the gall bladders so over here my correct option is d that is all of the above next question number 14 name the additive which is used to control the ph of the food solution so options are buffer surface active agents stabilizers and clarifying agent so over here my correct option is a that is buffer so buffer these are used to control the ph of the solution food solution so we know that buffer they can alter and control the acidity and alkalinity nature of the food on a specific level important in their processing test or during their food safety so over here my correct option is a that is buffer so question number 15 how the thickeners they improve a food products options are they prevent the food from drying out they interact with the viscosity of oil and water and this stabilize oil and water so and d none of the above so my correct option is b that is they increase the viscosity of oil and water so we know that food thickeners they work by thickening the viscosity of a liquid so which makes it thicker and even it becomes resistance to flow so they interact with the water molecules which is present in the food product and by creating a network and trapping the water molecule which is present and preventing it from flowing freely. So over here my correct option is B that is they increase the viscosity of oil in water. Option number B is correct. So question number 16 which of the following non-carbohydrate material it acts as a stabilizer options are agar agar gelatin carrageenan and alginate so over here my correct option is b that is gelatin but we know that agar agar gelatin carrageenan and alginate these four are the examples of stabilizers they act as an stabilizers but over here agar agar uh, carrageenan and alginate these are the examples of carbohydrates which acts as a stabilizer whereas gelatin it is a protein derived from the collagen so over here the non-carbohydrate material which acts as a stabilizer is b that is gelatin next question number 17 the enzyme used to clarify the beverage is options are pectinase papain catalase and lactase so over here my correct option is a that is pectinase so pectinase are the enzymes which are used to clarify the uh, beverages so these pectinase they break down the pectin and pectin which is basically a polysaccharide which is found in the plant's cell wall so which helps in the clarification of the beverage by reducing the cloudiness by the fruit bulb so over here my correct option is a that is pectinate question number 18 the agent which is responsible for flavor is our options esters aldehydes ketones and all of the above so my correct option is d that is all of the options so these esters aldehydes and ketones these are all the compounds that can contribute to the flavor of food and beverages so my correct option is d that is all of the options so question number 19 which acid will have higher bacteriostatic effect so options are a acetic acid tartaric acid bacterial uh, citric acid and malic acid so my correct option over here is a that is acetic acid so at a given ph this acetic acid will have a higher bacteriostatic effect because this acetic acid under a comparable conditions of acid it will consider it will be considered less dissociated than the citric acid tartaric acid and the malic acid that is why acetic acid will show a higher bacteriostatic effect so option number a is correct question number 20 permitted quantity of sodium benzoate in jam and jellies and preserves are options 600 ppm 200 ppm 750 ppm and 800 ppm so my correct option is b that is 200 ppm 
question number 21 which of the following is used to sterilize the spices options are heat epoxides radiations and antibiotics over here my correct option is c that is radiation so radiation sterilization so it is specifically the gamma irradiations which is a common method to uh, sterilize a variety of items including the spices so this method is effective and it does not involve any chemicals that is why option number c is correct that is radiation so question number 22 Bixin is a dash pigment derived from the seed coat of Bixa orellana. Options are orange, yellow, green and blue. So over here my correct option is option number A that is orange. So Bixin is a orange, it is like a orange red color pigment which is derived from the seed coat of the Bixa orellana. And this pigment actually it is used in a variety of applications including the food coloring. So over here option number A that is correct orange 23 sulfur dioxide can be used to preserve the naturally colored fruit juices because of its characteristic flavor uh, characteristic aroma limiting of co2 and bleaching action so over here my correct option is option number d that is bleaching action so the sulfur dioxide it cannot be used to preserve the naturally colored juices because of its bleaching action this is because it causes the discoloration in the naturally colored juices like the juices of the falsa or jamun or pomegranate so among the following options option number d is correct that is bleaching action Next question number 24 bleaching of wheat flour is generally done by using options are benzoyl peroxide chlorine dioxide chlorine gas and all so my correct option is d that is all so bleaching of the wheat flour it is generally done by various agents like benzoyl peroxide chlorine dioxide chlorine gases or nitrogen dioxide actually this bleaching of the wheat flour is done to remove the yellow xanthophyll pigment which is present in the milled grains and it is actually done to produce a finer whiter grain flour so the correct option is d that is all question number 25 which of the following can be used as a leavening agent so options are sodium bicarbonate water vapor ammonium bicarbonate and all of the above so for this question i want you all to comment me down the correct answer for this question okay with this we have completed few important mcqs of food chemistry and nutrition Hope you find this video helpful. You can share this video with your friends. You can subscribe the channel for more videos. Till then, thank you and enjoy learning.